Bloody Mary Podcast! Welcome to the Bloody Mary Podcast, where we talk about all things horror while drinking a Bloody Mary. I'm Jesse. And I'm Tammy. And we are totally married. Tonight, Mm. we got our Bloody Marys, and we're back. (laughs) We're back. We've been gone for like almost six months. I don't think we've done a podcast since January or the end of last year. Damn. Yeah. Uh, But before we get into why we haven't done a podcast in a while and everything, we have merch and an Amazon wish list. Yeah, we do. (laughs) So go to www.bloodymarriedpodcast.com and uh, there should be links to the Amazon wish list and everything there. Yeah. And also uh, some swag that you could buy if you want. Yeah. Find us on socials, Instagram, Facebook. Yep. Follow us. Follow us. Yep. Uh, YouTube, the, where this is, you should like it and yeah. comment. Like it, follow, <laughs> all that jazz. Yeah. All the things that you're supposed to do on the social medias, do yeah. it. Oh, I feel rusty. <laughs> we haven't done this since, legit, since December. I, I think we recorded our like best of the year and another one. And um, and I think we had planned on taking like most of January off from doing it, but then life happened. Life did happen. Um, so God I, damn it. I, I guess the thing that kind of <laughs> kicked that off was... Um, my dad had a surprise emergency health condition where out of the blue, he and he lives in, my parents live in Minnesota. Uh, he needed like three blood transfusions, needed a valve replacement and a triple bypass out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, he's fine now. He's like completely recovered, the yeah. best version of everything that yeah. happened. Healthy as a horse. In Loving the moment, life. it just kind of threw us and yeah. we- me, you, and my brother, we had to fly back to Minnesota. We, I was there f- for two weeks with him. You were there for about a week. You yep. came back. Um, yeah, and it was like stuff leading up to that too because he was going to doctors. We didn't know what was happening. Yeah. So that just it like was a threw- scary like, and stressful. That threw all of February out the window. It did, yeah. Yeah, because we had planned on- We were gonna- We had guests lined up. We had- a couple new guests and then we, we also had planned on doing a brand new photo shoot for photos for the podcast we were gonna you know, kind of kick it up a little bit but life happened and we got <laughs> yeah <laughs> this had to get shelved happen. for a minute um it did but he's fine now he's fine which is good yeah um what else have we both been working on we've both been working on uh, a feature script together and still are that's we been have. taking up some time um and then tell everyone what you've been doing what have you yes, been busy with so for the last few months the last few months i so i have something called functional neurological disorder or fnd and i got a grant uh here in spokane to do an art installation to educate people about it uh using art and so i did and it opened in april and it ran until the end of may but up and leading to that i still had a shit ton of work to do and i was still dealing with fnd um, and then help family stuff and, yeah. you know, it was really, really crazy. So it was, it was go, go, go. It and, was go, go, go. And you had to go out of town for a wedding. Yes. And, um, yeah, you were doing art like you would come out like a crazy person off, <laughs> uh, off, off of work and just do art and then go to bed and wake up artwork, go to bed cause there was a deadline. So yeah. Yeah. That... I had a whole installation to get ready for, for the beginning of April. And of course, yeah. You know, procrastination at its finest. Yeah. I built a tree in a week and a half, an eight foot tree. Yeah, <laughs> half but a tree. <laughs> um, then your show ran, and it ran for two months, and now it's over. It is, and, yeah. And so now that part's gone. That is. Yeah. It's nice to uh, have finished that chapter and got to have that artwork and everything up there and have some really fun conversations with the community and um, really in depth conversations about art and trauma and mental health and Mm -hmm. I think all of that was really important so and if people are interested in buying your art where do they find that uh hit me up on socials on hb sanitarium cool that's where you can uh find that stuff yeah or hbsanitarium.com on my website yep um and then I've been busy too. Yeah, I, what I, else have you been doing, uh, sir? Um, I had kind of a secret thing where I uh, I flew to Chicago and mm. I was a part of something really cool that the horror community and the horror film community will love. I can't really talk about it too much. No, but um, it's exciting, guys. But whatever that is should be out in the universe around Halloween 
And uh, you'll know because it'll be promoted not just by me, but by production companies and stuff yeah, like that. And so, things. So yeah, 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 you'll, yeah, we'll let you know more as it comes down the pike. But yeah, and then that's I've, exciting. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I, I wish I could talk more about it. I probably can, but I'm just going to keep it on the down low until you know I, I get the word. Yeah. Um, and then I've been working on my own feature script, which is. Uh, the rough draft is done. It's out to people. Conversations are happening. I know. Uh, wheels really, are really are in motion. Guys. Hopefully this time next year we'll be shooting. Um, so that's been taking up a lot of time and it still does take up a lot of time. Uh, and but I, things are back to where I think we can start doing podcasts more regularly now. Yes, absolutely. We need to get back to our plan because we really wanted to make this one of our focuses this year. Yeah. And do a little new photo shoot and just refresh and mm. and do some more fun things and be more consistent. So we're going to get back to that. Yeah, for our 20 viewers yeah, for, or listeners. but <laughs> For all of those you know, tens of listeners out there, we appreciate you very much. Yeah. But we are back. Yep. And I'm sure we've had a lot of other little things in between, uh, but yep, now we're going to be podcasting all summer long for sure. We have some fun episodes planned. Um, I know we got one guest we're going to have on. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so well, stay why tuned, guys. Yeah, so that's what we've been doing, why we've been gone, and uh, the podcast, we didn't get canceled or anything. Nothing like that. <laughs> Our producers didn't cancel us. We're still on the air. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ver Vern is over there looking... <laughs> <laughs> yes, our, our producer Vern. Our producer he's, Vern. He's off screen. He's he's just right <laughs> over there. Um, so why don't we just talk about like the horror movies we have seen? Um, yes, this year so far, and we haven't seen too many, but we we, we have seen a, a few, and we can just like breeze through them and give quick reviews on them. All right. Yeah. What's the the first one we saw in theaters? It was Abigail. Abigail. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, the directors of um, Ready or Not and Scream 5 and 6. Uh, that was really cool. Um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. It was a contained horror film. Pretty much takes place in one one location. The mm. cast was really kinetic and a lot of fun. Um, a lot of really cool effects. Oh, so many yeah. cool fun effects, good kills. Yeah. It Lots of blood. They they love their blood. And it, yeah. And it was, uh, what's her name? Melissa? Uh, what's her last name? She uh, Barrera. Barrera, yeah. yeah. She was she, in Scream. Yeah, she was six. in Scream 5 and 6. And we all know that she's not going to be in the next one because of some stuff. Um, now we can talk about that more in a podcast we'll do with Sean talking about our Scream 7 yes. predictions and news that is and, happening, and guys. stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, she was in this and she's really good. She um, was really good. You, you know, I've only seen her in those three things, and I know she's done work before that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think her performance in Abigail is the best she's done with these directors so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That was a lot of fun. She she played a really good character. Yeah. Um, and I, I just love... I really want um, some more good vampire movies. Oh, and for we sure. We had Vampire in a Boat, which was very disappointing. Vampire in a Boat. <laughs> oh, the last voyage of, of Demeter. D d d d yeah, that. Vampire in a Boat. Yeah, that was sucky. That that one, one, I don't know why people like uh, they, they were hyping it up a lot. They and it were, wasn't good, and it wasn't good. Yeah. And so I was really excited to see a fun vampire movie mm -hmm. with a, a creepy like she was creepy. Yeah, it was she was creepy and um creepy and fun. Yeah. They're really good at the scripts and there was like human elements to her too, touches mm -hmm. of it that really helped uh, bring it together. I think my favorite character in this was played by Dan Stevens because he he played I love the guy. I love mm -hmm. it when he does horror and genre pieces. Um but he had the most to do, I think with his role cuz he had to play like, who are you in the beginning? And then right. he's like, oh, now he's a cop. And now is he with the people or is he against the people? Right. Now is he with the vampires or is he against them? Right. And then he like melds into something else and then he's that character. Uh, so I thought that was a lot of fun to watch him have all these different things he had to do in the movie. Mm -hmm. I liked the um, the muscle 
Who reminds me like of a of a yeah, like a, uh, a roided out Elon Musk. Ke- 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 Kevin Durand, he he's a good. <laughs> he was funny. He, he's in a lot of stuff, and he's been doing a lot of things for years, and he's great. Yeah, he had a lot of good, just funny yeah, lines. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and played off with the cast really well. Yeah, yeah. So far, it's my favorite horror film of the year. I only had one critique, and it's not of the movie itself. It was about the trailer. Um, right. I think. The way, because the trailer just gives away nearly everything. Like, it gives away that it's a vampire movie. It gives away, like, who turns into vampires for mm-hmm. the most part. And they should have marketed this just as a horror film because if you don't see a trailer and you watch it, it's the re- big reveal is there's a vampire. Right. Like, oh shit. That's like, oh fuck, what kind of movie are we getting into? Right. It's like the the dust till dawn thing where you're with these criminals and they're going about this thing. You don't really know what the movie is. That oh fuck, that and now there's vampires, vampires and they have to fight them. Yes. And you can tell they took inspiration from that. Oh, damn. I just I wish watch that now. I just wish that um I wouldn't have known I wish I wouldn't have spoiled everything right. in the trailer. But right. aside from that, great movie. Yeah. That was a great movie. Yeah. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. I was really excited. We need more fun, cool, creepy vampire movies. Yeah, for sure. Um, maybe they're making a comeback. And then I hope so. Then the second horror film we saw this year was uh Late Night with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil. What did you think of that one? I thought it was an interesting concept. Yeah. Um and I, I have it written down here. Cool idea. Yeah. So it's, yeah. <laughs> it was a cool idea. Uh-huh. Um I liked the throwback feel of the 70s and the talk show, mm-hmm. late night talk show. I really like that. I like that guy. I think he does. He's such a great actor because he can play just like fucking yeah. anything. The lead guy, David Desmelchian, I think that's how you say his name. And he's in every fucking movie under the sun. You turn the channel and he's in like fucking Dune. He's in superhero movies. Right. He's in everything. And like... I know I've seen him in things, and yeah. but then it wasn't like the newest, the Suicide Squad, where he mm-hmm. played like the polka dot man, yeah. which is like one of my favorite characters <laughs> in that movie. Um, and then you're like, well, he's in everything, and then then I was like paying attention, yeah. and then he was fucking in yeah. everything, <laughs> literally. And then, uh, but this one, I he did good. I really enjoyed. Yeah, he was in the Vampire in a Boat movie. He was in the fucking <laughs> Vampire in a Boat movie. <laughs> he's, in, he's in everything. Yeah, um, yeah. It was a cool concept. I liked like it was kind of found footage type. Yeah, it was a new at the t- same time. I did like that. I liked that it was a, a new take on found footage. It was like a found lost episode of late night 70s television show on Halloween. So it has like all like all the ingredients for something that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the ending was pretty ambiguous and I didn't mind it. I wish I would have had it, it was I could see what they're doing. They were like playing it up to like are you just hypnotized as a viewer right kind of thing um are you seeing what you're really yeah. seeing did this really happen yeah i enjoyed it um really what made me after watching that i'm like that guy should play freddy krueger i he think he should i think he, he would could, be good he could do something unique to it that we haven't seen yet and i think he has an, enough of that m- enough humor to mm-hmm. like pull off those one liners. Oh yeah. And then he has enough to be creepy to I think he would be like my one of my top choices to play Freddy Krueger if they re- redid it, re- re- they, rebooted, remade it, whatever. They do need to do that just because it hasn't been done and since he's, the and 80s. He's, and he's not too old <laughs> so he can play it for a while cuz people were saying Kevin Bacon and I still think if they were like doing a one off and an older Freddy he would be a good choice. Oh, yeah. But if you're going to like restart it and you're going to have someone like like think of Bond. Like you're going you got to cast someone that's going to be with it for a decade. Right. So you need someone kind of younger. They um, can pull it off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He would be good. You're right. Ooh, come on. Let's make something happen right. there. Because I do want to see a new Nightmare movie. Yeah. That, you know, because the one that happened didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. It did didn't happen. happen. It, it did didn't. happen. It didn't. Um, but anyways, Late Night with the Devil, it was it was okay. It was- uh, It was all right. Was yeah, it wasn't of... like, oh my God, this is really good. Yeah. It was a fun watch. I don't think I watch it again. No. Um, but it was cool. Yeah. 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 It was cool. <laughs> it was it was fun to watch, yeah. and it was a, like, oh yeah, this is cool. It's a cool concept. It was a yeah. different twist on the found footage type stuff, but it wasn't like, oh my god, yeah. this is so good. It had some fun practical effects, and it had some fun comedic moments, some subtle comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I I wish I would have stuck the landing a little more solidly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. What was the the the, the other one we saw more recently? 
came out towards the beginning of the year, but we just saw it like a week or two ago. Fucking Night Swim. Night Swim. Um, what, <laughs> you, okay. you had an experience watching thing. Night Swim, PG-13. It wasn't that great of a movie. But yeah. I I feel there's I only have one other visceral reaction to a movie and that's Edward Scissorhands and we I just can't watch it because there's probably most likely underlining things to go along with this but it gave me so much anxiety I could, and I had a fucking panic attack after it. And fucking yeah. it was a ghost in water god damn it <laughs> I know it was you, a ghost in a pool <laughs> <laughs> Night Swim scared the shit out of you you were on the couch holding your legs hiding your head behind your legs when does that fucking happen and, and I'm happen? looking over I, and, like obviously something happened to me as a child <laughs> yeah. in a pool that I am you blocking some, out because you have some pool drama <laughs> because I <laughs> immediately watched all like three screams and fell asleep to them because i was like i need comfort and i watched so fucking weird. scream you need to watch more pool horror movies no. to see if this happens no i don't <laughs> because that was bullshit so just like does like jaws throw you into no ah, what about ja- no P- piranha three double d no no all right i don't fucking you know me i don't <laughs> get scared at movies i know i don't get scared like I just just not. So it was really it what was the fu- there. It was a what the fuck else, moment. It was a what the fuck moment. Clearly, something else is under that that I don't really need to explore. And <laughs> I think you do. I think you do. I, I really probably do. Should. Well, the moments that that you were terrified were when people were in the water and the the ghosts were were grab trying to get them. From underneath and drown them, yeah. and then yeah, I don't, I don't see. No, <laughs> you've been talking about it now. This is bullshit because the only other <laughs> yes. one is that resistance is not yes, because it's not that. I mean, it's a run of the mill, pool yeah. is possessed fucking movie. Um, Night Swim sucks. It's <laughs> it's not a good movie. It's <laughs> it's it's just a straight up any any possession movie. You can predict nearly every single thing that happens in this. Poor CGI. Um, the only like I like uh, Kurt Russell's kid. Uh, I sure. like him. I don't. I didn't like the movie. It wasn't right. It wasn't even yeah. that good of a motherfucking movie. So I <laughs> literally something is wrong because that was motherfucking bullshit. Yeah. That was bullshit. You're like, what's happening? So, I'm like, I'm having so a panic attack. So pretty much you're saying, if like the only other movie to do that was Edward Scissorhands in like the 90s. So the only movie in the last 30 years to completely terrify you is fucking Night Swim. Night Swim. <laughs> what? I have some issues. Yeah. We, sh- we are, I mean... You know Nothing this. about that was scary. It, I logically <laughs> I know because I it shouldn't have been scary. I don't. Again, I'm gonna have to do some more therapy and I some know. deep diving. But mm. gotta have a back to back Edward Scissorhands night. Are you the trying to? T- God, that would probably I would unlock door and then we. Yeah, mm-mm. yeah. All I don't right. really want to do that. Um, no, so uh, do that. if you haven't seen seen Night Swim, I do don't not, don't recommend you see it. <laughs> It, it's not it's not good yeah <laughs> i do recommend seeing abigail if you haven't seen that oh abigail and for um sure. if yeah. you're looking for a fun uh yeah a late night with the devil is a good watch it is yeah. and it's interesting and you should check it out yeah i think if you you start it and you're like 10 minutes and you're not into it then shut it off but if you mm. if you like what you're watching keep going right yeah um aside from that i don't think we've seen much else i know we missed the first omen that's that came out uh tarot I know that came out and a couple others I I can't. Yeah, we got to do oh, some. Oh, Lisa Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. I really want to we see that. We were going to see that and then mm. we were, we were going to go on Valentine's Day and then we yeah. ended up being in Minnesota on Valentine's Day. Yeah. 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 We ended up being in Minnesota. We have some catching at, up to do. <laughs> hospital for yeah. Valentine's Day instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that. So we have some catching up to do, but we will. Um, I guess. Have you watched any horror television? I have not. I haven't watched the new. I know the they had a American Horror Story season come out, but Kim Kardashian's on it, and I'm not. A, mm-hmm. You know, I started uh, the season before that, the New York one, and I watched the first episode, and it was pretty good. Um, and I gotta keep watching it. It's just I've kind of fell out of American Horror Story. I have too. You know, it's almost like I, I wait and see what the theme of the season is, and then if I like that idea, then we'll I'll check watch it. Out. it. Yeah, but. Uh, 
yeah, it's just not. I like, mean, I couldn't make it through the last one that we watched. The last one was the double feature, the one they did around COVID, yeah. where the first half was um, like vampire type, like vampire. You take a pill and you become super creative, yeah. and then the other episodes were about aliens. Right. I didn't watch. The, uh, I didn't even finish the vampire. It was a terrible like, season. Yeah. The only, I mean, the be- 1984 was the last really great good one, one, and yeah. that is my favorite one. So um, what are you excited for coming up? Things coming up. Things coming up. Um, well, God, what is coming? Oh, you make me think. Um, the the new saw is that coming out this year still? I think. Yeah, I don't even. I've been so out of the loop. We've been so like in our own worlds. We I can't have, like. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what's coming out. I'm like looking around here for some ideas. Are we getting a new Cabin Fever? <laughs> are we getting a new Blair Witch? I know that they're doing more Blair Witch stuff, but I don't know what's coming out this year. I mean, I am excited to announce that David Gordon Green is no longer (laughs) doing the Exorcist trilogy and hopefully that his horror career is dead until he decides to to do a horror comedy. You know, I do not. In 10 years. I do not wish that upon the man. I don't wish that his horror career is dead. I just wish that. And I think that he can do. We've talked about this before. An original horror comedy on horror comedy. Yes. He can Mm -hmm. take a. He needs to stop touching old, like the classic, and trying to revive them and make them his own because he's not good at it. And then do a horror comedy, which he would be great at. Yeah. Oh, the other one that came out. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, the Strangers. Oh yes. Remake. Yes. Uh, yes. By Rennie Harland. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. I still want to check it out. Um, I like the director. Immaculate. We still haven't seen that. There's been a lot we haven't seen. I know. We've been so <clears throat> consumed with other things. I know there's a new Quiet Place coming. Um, trying to think all the franchises. I We're, know that they someone bought the rights to Halloween, so they they're going to do something with it. We're not going to get that this year. Um, trying to think of what. I don't know. We were supposed to get a Scream, but we're that's probably not going to be till next year now. Probably not, um, huh? Yeah. Um, and we were supposed to get Crystal Lake stuff too, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, that and that got, that's got... put on hold. There's some weird stuff going on with Friday the Thirteenth. So there's uh, always at, weird stuff at, going on with Friday the Thirteenth. So like a couple years ago, they were announced they were doing Crystal Lake, and that the showrunner was uh, was it is it Brian Fuller who did Hannibal? I'm, yeah. Is that his name? I think so. Maybe. So he was working on that, uh, and I think Kevin Williamson wrote. Uh, uh, a, a script or two and yeah. then they were actually consulting with some of the OG Friday the 13th actresses and I think they were involved in some of the writing so everything was looking good and then they uh, I don't know the production company that's doing it if it was A24 or th- Peacock I can't remember but they they parted ways with his vision I thought it was A24 that yeah. they parted ways so that's interesting and they didn't say which way they're gonna go I assume Brian Fuller's if you look at his past work, like Hannibal, it was more polished. And he explained like the first episode to where it was going to be diving deep into Pamela uh, Voorhees' trauma, how she becomes the villain, Mm -hmm. villainous, uh, vengeful mother she becomes. So I can see it being a more dramatic approach to it. Mm -hmm. And then also, I think Kevin Williamson uh, said that uh, he would have liked to have seen, they did like a whole episode of a chase like an entire chase sequence was one episode. That would have been fun. And so they were doing some really artistic writing with it. Um, so I have a feeling they just wanted to go campier. Yeah. I bet you anything were... And that's fine too. I just... The thing is, is I just want something. Right. I <laughs> just want a fucking Friday the 13th. And then the out of the blue, like there's this other camp that owns Jason and they announced that there's going to be a Jason multiverse or universe. And like he's going to be in video games. She's going to be here. She's going to be here. He's going to be here. But everyone keeps talking about all this shit. And just, I just want to see a movie. Right. I just want to see a series. I like, just want to see something. Shut up. And quit talking <laughs> about it and just make a film. Stop fucking talking about right? it. Do shit. I know. Um, I don't, what else is coming out this year? I know we have some shit coming out around Halloween. And I just can't think of it. I can't either. <laughs> I know. Guys, guys. In the, on the comments, yeah, let uh, can, us know what yes. what's coming out this year. What's coming out around Halloween for horror films that we're just completely forgetting about? We are. We've had. We've been so engrossed in so <laughs> yeah, many yeah. other things. Yeah. Um, we're getting. We're getting back to it though. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep uh, uh, long legs. That looks good. Oh yeah. Uh, that looks a uh, horror thriller. Um, 
I I always forget the lead actress's name, but she's in it. And then it looks like Nicolas Cage is playing a creepy serial killer. And in the the promoting and the trailers, you don't get to see his face, which is is pretty cool. Uh, You hear his voice and it's pretty creepy. Um, Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else is coming out. Uh, But yeah, anyways, we're back. We're going to be doing... More episodes. We are. And <laughs> and hey, in the comments, let us know what you want to see and want to hear from us. Yeah. Like, is there a retro review that you would like us to do? Because we're, you know, we are going to try to do start doing more of those as well. So if you want yeah. us to watch a retro movie and talk about it, let us know. Yep. You want us to do a battle between two movies? Let us know. Yeah, let us know Give what us you want. Give us some ideas. Let us know what you want. We're happy to do or, it. Or what franchise would you like us to watch and review? We've yes. done... Friday 13th, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw, Saw, Final Destination. Um, Screams. We haven't officially done those. Oh, we haven't officially done those. No, no. Um, So we have a lot. uh, What would you like to see? Anyways, yeah. With proof of life episode, yeah. we're still here. <laughs> proof of life, we're still alive. We're still kicking. We're kicking, sort of, sometimes. We're still drinking Bloody Marys, <laughs> and we're still married, and we're still <laughs> doing horror shit. We are. Yeah. And we've got some fun things coming up down the line in, you know, movies coming out that we've yep. been working on, that we'll be working on, and, and we've written and stuff. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, um, I think our bloody mirrors are dead. All and, right. And so are we. So are we. But we're well, alive. we're not. We're, yeah. we're alive. We, so, we promise. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, um, catch you later. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> bloody Mary.